It's the former Spurs player, Dean Marnie, with the penalty kick. Hollow one up. Are they on their way to the top? Well, there was no doubt there that Marnie, full of confidence, in fantastic form for Hull. Totally cool, sends the keeper the wrong way, never in doubt. Nice aggressive run up, firm side foot. Motoring her away now, Hughes. Campbell, can he bring it down under a bit of pressure? Too many defenders around him, because that's a Marnie! Oh, what a strike from Dean Marnie! It perfectly burst the net in that left hand corner. It's 4 0 to Hull City, and Southampton are indeed getting mauled by the Tigers. There can be no question of that. The approach work again was superb from City. Pedersen with a lovely nutmeg, and the ball going across to Marnie. We've got clear side on goal. Bottom left hand corner from Marnie. Hull City leading by four goals to nil. It's now McPhee. They've got two on one here. McPhee. Back it through to Marnie. De Marnie. Makes it 3 0 for the Tigers. And that is it. It's all over now. And Steve McPhee played that so well. He bided his time, slipping the ball through for De Marnie, who hit it hard and firm past the keeper. In the bottom left hand corner, it's Hull City 3, Barnsley 0. It's Marnie's third goal of the season. And surely it's all over now for Barnsley. Hagen gets passed off, rolls it back. Turn to Marnie! Oh, yes, what a start for Hull City! A goal created by the feet of Craig Faden and finished with a sure finish from Dean Marnie. It's his second goal in a Hull City shirt. And what a well-worked goal it was, but credit that man, Fagan. He opened the Burnley defence, he took on Michael Doff, drew the defender and went past him, he pulled it back perfectly. And the on-running Dean Marnie side-footing it in to the left-hand corner, City have the lead. Leuvens, he's always got the pace, McPhee, that caused defenders problems, and Leuvens just didn't know where he'd come from. Lovely ball, comes to Dean Marnie. Still going, Marnie. Oh, yeah! His first goal for the Tigers and didn't he take it well? Arrowed into that bottom right hand corner, the Tigers fans go wild. Yet another free kick finally led to City's superiority, making it onto the scoreboard. Clement found Garcia, who found Campbell. Campbell's cross was stopped from reaching Windus, but Marnie was there to score with only seconds of the half remaining. It was just reward for what would turn out to be another excellent display from the midfield. Face. Good defending, good tracking by Baines. And tries again. 